We see everything down for the day. That includes stocks, bonds, and gold. However, we still have up candles when we look at our stocks on the weekly chart. We're talking about just one day of down movement as far as everything being down on this Thursday. But let's jump first, as we always do, into the S&P 500 on the weekly chart. Derivative oscillator still gaining upward momentum. And that all-important price percent oscillator, that is our number one indicator. If you don't know what the price percent oscillator is, stay tuned all the way to the end of the video. If you're listening on audio, then just go to the website, and we will have posted price percent oscillator. We're going to have that training. It's available at the website. You can look it up there under training. We're going to have it at the end of the video, a link to it. I encourage you to watch that training. It is so important to understand the, the price percent oscillator is like the MACD on steroids, the moving average convergence divergence. It's a percentage oscillator. It means you can use it across the board comparing maybe an index to how stocks performing against the index. We like it better and it is our main indicator. We also use it in conjunction with the derivative oscillator and also with our Heiken Ashi candlesticks, all the charts all the time and all the indicators and all the support information all the time. That's why you need to practice with us 10 minutes a day every day and get this down. And the only way you're going to learn is by spending a little bit of time every single day. Then you'll start learning these charts. You'll understand what's really going on because the magic of the chart, you can see when you look at the weekly chart over the last year when it's rotated over going up, it's gone up. When it's rotated over going down, it's gone down. Not that complicated to see. What you really have to learn, though, is how to do the entry and exit points. When to get in at the most opportune time and get out at the most opportune time. We have all sorts of ways to teach you how to do that. First thing you can do is start following us every day. Second thing you can do is go through all the different trainings we have at chartingwealth.com and be sure to sign up for our daily market review, which includes our once a week comprehensive review and forecast. It takes you about 10 minutes, maybe a little more a day. And if you really want to get into things, print out some of those daily market worksheets. You'll see the link in the show notes you receive in the emails. You can print those out for free and fill those out. Also the trade worksheets and once a week the weekly market worksheet. Got all sorts of stuff to keep you busy and learning. And it's simple but you got to practice it. That's what it requires. A little bit of time input every day. If you're not willing to do that, don't listen to us. You're wasting your time. If you're into get rich quick, that ain't going to happen. That's not the way the market gives up its results. No matter what anybody tells you, it's going to take some diligence and some practice, but you can do this. Train with us. Now, let's go from the weekly to the two-day. What do we see going on there? Well, two-day chart crossed over going up all the way back on the 9th of January. And but for a sideways slide for a few days, it has been rocketing up. This is a red open box candle that we see forming first day of this latest two-day candle. Prior two-day candle that ended on Wednesday, of course, was a nice up one. But we do see a little bit of a pullback. We see uh, the price sitting right there on the two-day trend line, still well above the weekly. Two days lost some energy as far as the price percent oscillator goes and the derivative oscillator. Just the first day of the latest two-day, we'll see how things end up shaping out. We look at the four-hour chart, and we can see at the end of the day it crossed over going down. It's actually been sliding sideways since the afternoon of Tuesday the 19th. So keep your eye on things. Just because it crossed over on the four-hour chart doesn't mean everything's over. Continue to watch that two-day chart, which is weakening. And again, got price sitting right there. You can always, hey, you've done great if you've jumped in and ridden this baby up either way back after the weekly vertical crossover and things started heading up and crossing over. Quite pretty back on the 31st. You've done very, very well. If you waited and jumped in later, that would have been sometime around the afternoon or the next morning of the crossover going up back on either the 13th or the 14th. You've done well also. So again, keep your eye on the prize. Don't panic. If you want to go ahead and take profits, you can always do that. But I want you to, to really practice. And we talk about profits. We're talking about practice trades. We're not a stock calling service. But you've got to do these practice trades. Use your trade worksheets available for free in the show notes. Print them out. They're PDFs. 
And I'm telling you, if you will do this, it will put your training on steroids. Okay, we are now going from the week, uh, the four hour back to the weekly and going to the Qs. That's Q, Q, Q. And of course, that's the NASDAQ 100. And what do we see going on there? The tech stocks. Well, they've been zooming up also since that we latest weekly vertical crossover going up back on the 25th of January. This week is a nice green up candle price boom. It's a little bit above where it was in the prior week. Derivative oscillator gaining upward momentum. Price percent oscillator still heading up nicely. We go to that two-day chart, and that's where we see things have been topping out going on five days now since things topped back on the two-day candle ending on the 15th, Friday the 15th. We've seen a warning signal with a red open box candle with a wick on top, and now we have a doji forming. Again, indecision tending down, price percent oscillators gone flat, derivative oscillator losing momentum, and of course, as we hone in closer, we can see where we had that crossover going down in the afternoon back on Wednesday, preceded by more down movement in the morning on Thursday, and a little bit of recovery back in the afternoon, but ended up down 0.37%. Derivative oscillators also flipped over negative. So again, continue to watch. If you've already maximized your profit, felt comfortable, pulled out, that's great. If you're still continuing to watch, just be cognizant of what's going on in the four-hour chart and that two-day chart. Now, remember, the weekly chart is still up strong. This is where your participation on a daily basis, filling out that, that trade worksheet and learning, learning. The more you practice trade, pay attention to these charts on a daily basis, you will start seeing how these different ETFs react because they all have their own personalities. And their personalities change just like kids growing up. Things change over time. At certain seasons, they will repeat things. That's why you've got to practice. That's why we focus on four charts, four ETFs, instead of a smattering going across, picking up any and everything, because you don't learn the personalities. That's another important thing that makes it special about what we do. And let me tell you, there's plenty of profits you can make on these four ETFs, the two stock ETFs, 20-year bonds, and gold. Plenty to keep you busy. So please, practice trade with us, learn how this works. Going to 20-year bonds, what do we see going on there? Well, we had uh, three weeks of run-up so far on this week, we have a red spinning top, an open box top. Again, things slowing down, got a wick on the bottom and a longer wick on top. Derivative oscillator has been losing momentum since it peaked well back on the week ending the 4th of January. And of course, we now see the price percent oscillator is cranking over going down. It's a ways to go before it crosses over going down, but we do see some deceleration in bonds. We go to the two-day chart. That's where we saw the prior two-day candle ending on Wednesday. Nice, but down a lot on Thursday. Just the first day of the latest two-day candle, but it's a big down candle, down 0.89%. We see the price percent oscillator pulling away from the red signal line, so did not cross over. Derivative oscillator also gone negative, so not looking so hot there as far as 20-year bonds go. What do we see on the two-hour chart? Oh, I didn't mean two-hour. On the four-hour chart, what do we see going on there? Big move down in the morning, followed by a big move down in the afternoon. Things flipped right over. Don't have a trade in bonds. Weekly's up, two days down. We're waiting for that to sort itself out. We'll continue to watch, monitor. We'll tell you when we see something shaping up in bonds. Nothing right now. Then we go to gold. Gold down the biggest of the day, 1.13%. Now, gold has been having a smashing week. Now, we see a wick uh, forming on top, of course. That's from the deceleration and the loss. But again, we did peak out quite nicely in gold over the course of the week. But we see the derivative oscillator losing some of that upward momentum price. But we see that happening. In fact, derivative oscillator peaked all the way back on the 11th of January. The price percent oscillator still heading up not as strongly. We go from the weekly to the two-day, and that two-day now is trying to cross over. It had just crossed over going up, and now it's trying to cross back over going down. That's 
you know, again, we see that happen sometimes, but not all that often. It had peaked over and then dropped back. So, you know, we've seen that happening over the last few weeks. Not really common, but it has been happening, particularly on that two-day chart. We'll see how things sort out. We can't close this candle yet because it's just the first day of the latest one. So we're going to leave it in a crossed over position if, there's, if there is up movement on Friday then of course we'll wait and see if indeed the price percent oscillator starts pulling away and heading back up again. We'll just have to wait and see how that sorts itself out. I keep trying to go to this two-hour chart. Sorry about that. And we see where gold peaked out on Wednesday in the afternoon, pull back um, in the morning, pull back in the afternoon on Wednesday, and then slamming down in the morning. Now, one thing we have been wanting to see, of course, was a crossover going down and hopefully a move back up. This is the pullback that we like to see, although the pullback so massive, it might actually pull the two-day over and not give us a jumping in point. So we'll wait and see what we see. Again, remember, we're trend followers. We let the charts tell us what to do. We don't tell the charts what to do. Only a fool does that because you can't tell the market what to do. That's why we follow the charts not the noise. Hope you guys are doing great. You have questions, problems, concerns. Let us hear from you. If not purchased our book, you got to do so. You can get it. Look in the show notes. We are happy to send you out an order graft copy. It gives you what we do here, breaks it down really simple and direct, explains our two methods of trading, and we want you to have it so that you understand what it is we do. And you also get to support all of our work that we provide here for free. And if you want to be a special partner, be a Patreon supporter. You can see links in the show notes there. You get all sorts of free stuff. You get our Bitcoin chart. You get our short chart training. You get our quarterly long chart training for long-term S&P 500 understanding and investing. And again, it's all training. We're not a stock calling service, but we want you to train with us and start to understand these charts. It is not that complicated, but it does take time, a little bit every day, and dedication. If you're not willing to do that, you are wasting your time. But let me tell you, time spent doing this can pay incredible dividends. I don't think there's 10 more important minutes for your financial future than you can spend every day with us. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.